was a senior in high school, and one day in the spring, I just got in the car and drove down to the recruiter station and signed up. Didn't tell anybody what I was doing, and I came home and told them, and my mom started crying, and they didn't believe me at first. And then my twin brother, Seth, said, okay, I'm doing it too. We felt it was an opportunity to do something exceptional. You're going to go over there and you're going to fight and you're going to put your life on the line and you're going to be willing to die for one another because you just love each other that much. When we were deployed together, we figured if we were going to be in the Middle East, we might as well be in the same spot. That's the kind of relationship we have. We're best friends. I mean, twins, you know, growing up, sharing a room, you just get to that point. It was just that brotherly support, you know, that kind of, you know, those, those unspoken acts of love that, you know, that kind of helped carry us through. When I was in Afghanistan in 2004, 2005, in my mind I wasn't a Democrat, in my mind I wasn't a Republican. Politics meant nothing to me. And then in 2007, when I found out I was getting deployed, I pulled out every little bit of information I could about every single candidate, and I studied it and read about them and decided um, back long before the primaries had really even kicked into full gear, I decided I was a Barack Obama supporter. President Obama has been doing an exemplary job. And I, th I think that with you know, President Obama pulling the troops out of Iraq, I think that was the right thing to do. It was a promise he had made during the campaign and he followed through with his promise. And on behalf of a grateful nation, I'm proud to finally say these two words, and I know your families agree. Welcome home. Welcome home. So when Mitt Romney said that leaving Iraq was tragic, I did think that was concerning. And as a veteran, I, I, I took a lot of offense to Governor Romney's 47% comments. And I don't think he did take into consideration that that 47% includes veterans that have served overseas and, and given up a year or more of their lives to serve their country. Our parents always taught us to look out for others. Um, and President Obama completely gets that because he's done so many things you know, for the soldier returning from the battlefield. He's made this huge effort and push to make sure that veterans are getting into good jobs and has challenged businesses to increase you know, hiring of veterans. I mean, he's been actively out there advocating and pushing for veterans' rights, back supporting the troops. And by the way, we're doing this not just because it's the right thing to do by you, we're doing it because it's the right thing to do for America. We should be a model country of integrity and, and honor, and that's what I think Obama does. And he's, I think he stands up for Americans' values and America's values, and he doesn't apologize for them. I think that the America that President Obama you know, is working towards is the America that I want for my daughter, and I want an America that is everybody's got a fair shot, and there's a level playing field. I mean, I voted for President Obama in 2008 because of what he said he was going to do. I'm voting for him in 2012 because he did what he said he was going to do.